Hey everybody and happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a great day today. We are going to be eating some beautiful chocolate covered strawberries. I hope you're having a great day today and if you're not spending it with someone you love, you are spending it with me. Okay, I'm, I have a knife because these are pretty big. I don't want to just ah bite into them. I'm going to cut the ends off and then I'll cut them into pieces because I'm a fancy lady <laughs> and then we break off the chocolate that's fine I can see how rotten the strawberries are then <laughs> oh it's okay it was not that bad mmm it's gonna be messy It's like dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. And these strawberries are huge. Mm. And we're going to talk about the history of Valentine's Day. And the patron saint shrouded in mystery. I wonder why. Let me finish the strawberry and then we will talk. Okay. There are many origin stories floating around and no one is really sure which one is, if any, are true. But one of the most popular legends is that back in the 3rd century, Rome Emperor Claudius II outlawed marriage because he believed single men made better soldiers than those who were pining for lovers back home. Despite the decree, a man named Valentine performed secret marriages and was jailed for doing so. While awaiting his execution, some say he wrote a love letter, arguably the first Valentine, to his crush, who may or may not have been the jailer's daughter. And I have this little Valentine over here who, just as soon as I pay attention to anything but her, gets quite jealous. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um who was allegedly the jailer's daughter, he signed his note from your valentine. So now we figured out, oh, now we have a figurehead for the holiday, but why February 14th? Some say that it goes back to an ancient Roman fertility festival called Lupercalia, which was celebrated from February 13th to the 15th. The event, the event involved wine nudity and slapping women with strips of goat hide drenched in sacrificial blood. Yes, you read that right. Ancient people do the darndest things. Anyway, the women were allegedly welcomed this because it was a mark that they thought would make them more fertile. Okay, another strawberry. Another one. Another one. And if she keeps going, I'm going to have to send her out of the room. Because that is quite obnoxious. Okay. Ooh, this looks like a juicy, a juicy strawberry. Hmm. 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 I don't really believe 
that story. But who knows, you know? It's like anything in history. In the 5th century, a pope outlawed Lupercalia and made Valentine's Day a family-friendly event. It was a day to honor St. Valentine, the day he was killed. This is funny. So, in the Middle Ages, people in England and France were said to associate February 14th with the beginning of the birds mating season. This started the Parliament of Fowls, where a woman could tell what kind of man that she would marry by the type of bird that she spotted on Valentine's Day. A black bird signified a priest. A blue bird meant a funny dude. A dove equaled a kind man. A gold finch meant a super rich one. And a woodpecker signified no man at all. Quite funny. I'm sorry if this is terribly boring to anyone. I was looking at the time. That's why I was not looking at you when I said that. I don't know how watching somebody eat chocolate covered strawberries could be boring though. You know? They're delicious. Oh, that was a beautiful one. Mmm. Mmm. Just the tiniest bit tart. Mm. It's so good. The chocolate is so good. Because it's not like too dark of dark chocolate. Mmm. I think chocolate covered strawberries are my favorite thing about Valentine's Day. <laughs> There's tons of other traditions from the 1800s, 1700s. The origins of Valentine's Day are actually brutal and terrifying. That's from Teen Vogue. They started with a lot of blood. I don't even care for that one. Mmm. This one's got a little bit of yucky spot, but otherwise it's like so ripe, so sweet. Got the steam off. Um, I am just looking at like different Valentine's Day traditions and such. Mmm! So 
So what we should really be looking at is not even Valentine's Day. But we should be looking at Lupercalia or whatever that festival is. Because that's really the original Valentine's Day. Lupercalia was a very ancient, possibly pre-Roman pastoral festival observed on February 13th through the 15th to avert evil spirits and purify the city, releasing health and fertility. Lupercalia subsumed February, an earlier origin spring cleaning ritual held on the same date, which gives the month of February its name. The name Lupercalia was believed in antiquity to it a vice, some connection with the ancient Greek festival of the Cadian Lacae and the worship of the Cain Pan, <laughs> assumed to be Greek equivalent to Faunus. What is Faunus? Horned god of the forest. Just all of these things like break off into all of these like little side myths and stuff. What time is it? 15 minutes to eat the strawberries? Not bad. We are going to be going out to dinner. I'm filming this on Saturday. I think we're gonna go to dinner on Sunday to a Japanese restaurant. That's how I like it in the little slivers. Just need to get more. By the way, I fixed this light bulb, so the, tell me if it's a little bit brighter, if that's better. Ow. As I chop my finger off. Mmm. Oh, this one had a ton of chocolate on it. I like chocolate covered strawberries. I like chocolate covered apples, bananas, blueberries, raspberries, pineapple. I don't think mango and strawberries would go well together. Maybe. What else is there? 
pear. And my lipstick is all gone. I've eaten it all. Definitely worth it. They were like eight bucks for six of them. Just as like a container of strawberries costs like five bucks. So I mean you would get more strawberries if you bought your own container. But these are like the jumbo stem on strawberries. Mmm. That was a good last strawberry. Mmm. <laughs> My hand is covered in chocolate. I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Let me know down below in the comments what you are going to be doing for Valentine's Day and what your favorite Valentine's Day treat is. If you like chocolate covered strawberries or if you like candy boxes or little sweetheart tarts. Excuse me. I gotta go deal with her. Um, thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more. I make new videos every single day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great Valentine's Day. Have a great Sunday. And have a great beginning to your week. Bye.